updates on one of my favorite bush beans the Windsor long pod this has been going for ages since before we moved and it's still producing like crazy three four plus flushes if it's happy I mean you can see it's susceptible to a bit of disease and um, this plant isn't totally healthy up the top but overall it's still producing really well and I will keep feeding it and I will keep watering it until it fully stops because I don't really have anything to put in this um, pot to replace that large section of it at the moment. You can see the pink flowered strawberries. They're beautiful. There's a tiny little stunted I think this is a black cherry tomato. I've got a couple of little lettuce starts in there and I don't know what tomato that is self sign. But that's fine in there. Um, in some of my other pots with legs I've got basils and these were supposed to be Queensland blue pumpkins but I really don't think they are. Looking at the bunching down there it looks more like um, golden nugget more basils, more um, sunset runner beans, the pink one. I'm actually really, really happy to have that back. That was one of the things I thought I'd lost in the move and I was really, really sad. Um, some more watermelons. Hopefully this little watermelon sets in time. Um, not sure what this melon is, but hopefully it puts a fruit on. Either a rock melon or a honeydew or a kajari or tiger melon this one's a rock melon no sorry watermelon uh, a few seeds from the one plant um, this is another Windsor long pod super happy super healthy um, I just picked it the other night but you can see that it's starting to put some more more beans on for us Which is awesome. More pink strawberries, um, pink cloud strawberries rather, and some purple climbers. Overall I'm really happy with the pots on legs because they gave me some established garden to bring with me when I thought I'd lost basically everything and I had to start from scratch again so I'm really happy about that. Till next time.